Hi, my name is Hanga Mamiri. I'm an artist and my medium is fabric. I sometimes also use printmaking, drawing, collage, and photograph even. You are right now at the Aldrich Contemporary Art Museum that has my solo show at the moment called A Homage to Home. This exhibition really uh, gathers sort of three spaces in the entire show that each space kind of reflects what sort of representation of women speaks to those specific uh, spaces, but also how we define the ideas of home. Since um, I really wanted this exhibition to reflect my past, my childhood, and also my present memories of home, I really wanted to transform the spaces that as if when the viewers comes in, they will be sort of weaved with the idea of like, where are we looking at? What sort of a space we are in? And what sort of like reconciliation does the artist is, you know, trying to do? The beautiful process about the about the exhibition or the core idea of exhibition is to work closely with the curators and not only with the curator with the curator's team and I think um, I had the privilege and also a great opportunity to work closer with the team of the Aldrich to bring this exhibition together. Since pandemic, majority of our artists didn't have much chance to be with the work in physical space. And uh, I've got to learn how to make this visual understanding of the space virtually. So I did learn how to work with another artist who knows rendering. So for me, when I had this visual understanding of the space through virtually, it's very different when you come in the space physically. And sometimes expectations doesn't meet. Sometimes the things that you wanted, to, that you tried it on the screen, it doesn't match up in the physical space. And I think that's the great opportunity to work with the curators because they know the space, they live, they walk here every day. They have a close sense of relationship with the space than the artist sometimes. So to meet these two individuals, these two brain to work, it's, it's always fascinating. It's always a lot of uh, happy accidents sometimes happens, or maybe failures happens too. But it's a way of to like collaborate and resolve and you know problem solve. So I enjoyed very much my time being here for a week of during the installation and to make this exhibition happen for the viewers. I feel like as an artist, I am so invested in planning of my own practice and material. But when it comes to an installation, that's another whole arena like I don't know how those tools work so it's also a space for me to learn from the others by watching them <laughs> my relationship to textile really brings like the core sort of my upbringings in Kabul city like being among so many women so for me like when I look back on those memories of uh, you know was such a joyful moment to spend time with them in these bazaars again. Feeling these textures of like silky dresses and like um, polyester fabrics and like cotton, different textures, different surfaces. I feel like those were my um, fundamental way of learning what art is. And I really wanted to something that like, what am I wearing and how my body is connected to that fabric might get me somewhere. When I look back um, as a refugee woman, I not only lived in one country, but I also migrated through different cultures, through different borders. But I would wear this fabric with me, whether it was the fabric from like Tajik um, you know, dresses or whether it was fabric from South Asian fabrics. So my familiarity with this sort of material was really embedded from the beginning. Working with fabric, it's also such a tactile material that you could do so much with this material it's not only making image out of it but also you can see its functionality how it's draped how it's hanged how it's uh, being stretched and that kind of gives me a lot of freedom of a space for me to build my world within it I lived uh, so far from home for such a long time and this exhibition was a great opportunity to also reflect back and sit with it and research again and go back to those uh, memories that I have 
remembered or like you know like celebrated what home is. Since I was so invested working with with these fragile memories that I've had, but I was like, well, my memories are not perfect. Like it doesn't have this like rectangular or horizontal edges. I'm interested in the imperfection of memory and the imperfection of life. That's how I see these works as well. These works are not perfect edged. The story starts in between and it ends in between, and that's what I really admire about working with textile. It's it's a very fragile but also very tactile too. And that kind of defines my world. My world is not perfect. It's never been perfect. So I, I, I desire the imperfection about it. And that's how I, it urges me to keep making work in order to define what that perfect world means. And also, you know, because I am contextualizing this show so specifically to Afghanistan, both past and present, it's also a way for me to find the relationship between the United States and Afghanistan, if we are looking really politically. That's why I'm bringing an awareness of like, these things are happening back home, but let's not forget that we all were involved in such, uh, in such a space or in such landscape or in such, you know, like demography. So for me, using a space as, you know, such as institutional, uh, you know, platform, it's a way for me to uh, bring some sort of like, you know, cultural knowledge to share with. My name is Hanga Mamiri. This exhibition entitles A Homage to Home at the Aldrich Contemporary Museum. And I hope you guys will make a trip down here to see the show.